In this video we're going to be comparing these two monsters. We've got the Primex Strong People against the Super Blast from ASICS. What is up everybody and welcome to Max Stack Heaven. Yeah, we've got some big old boys on the channel today. And I wanted to compare these two because for me, they're sort of sitting there and they're in long run territory, long run into goal pace territory, long run into half marathon territory. And I wanted to let you know which one I prefer and why out of these two. Now, firstly, both of these shoes cost an absolute fortune. Over £200, both of them. Uh, we've got two uh, different compounds uh, on this one. We've got Light Strike Pro here. But on this one, we've got the Flight Foam Blast Turbo and the Flight Foam Blast Plus in it. We've got two layers. A half, what's it called on the outside? But yeah, we've got Light Strike Pro in the strung with energy rods. See them under there? Uh, we've got, where is it, 50 mil of stack in this, and I think we've got 42 and a half mil in here, so both illegal, right? Uh, this has definitely got a better outside with the Continental Rubber, but the strong upper in this is, is a strong, strong upper. It's a very, very good upper, and it makes this look stupid, to be honest with you. The jacquard mesh on this is just very basic compared to the engineering and the, um, yeah, the coolness and awesomeness of the upper on this shoe, and this, this upper on the shoe makes this so good. Now both of them are way about the same, uh, both fit true to size, um, what else, what else, that's probably about it in terms of the stats and features, I can't remember the drops exactly of them, I probably should have known that before we did the video, but yeah, um, I, think, I think this has got 10 mil drop, I can't remember what that is, anyway, let me know in the comments. Um, but the reason I wanted to compare them is because for me, these are both, like I said, long run shoes, but with goal pace. Now hopefully you've seen the first impressions we did of this where the guys from Believe in the Run and Kafuzi were talking about the shoe, that it can do everything, but for Kafuzi it works really good at marathon pace. And for me that sort of, sort of resonated, that's the word, because with marathon uh, season upon us, marathon uh, training season upon us, my mileage is going to really stretch out and my long runs are going to start really badly kicking in. And I want a shoe that I can take long, but I want a shoe I can take long and add pace when I want to. Now, in my mind, it was always going to be the Prime X for those goal pace long runs, you know, the 16 mile long run that goal pace that I need to do. I'm going here. You know, the 18 mile long run with, I don't know, eight miles at goal pace. I'm going here. You know, that's where this shoe was going to be used and then transition that into half marathons. But now with this shoe, it's the sort of, I work in rotations on my long runs, right? In, in marathon, let's go back a step, in my marathon training. So I sort of circle through a 16, 18 and 20 miler. And the first two rotations are like easy and then easy with some goal pace here. And then the last sort of rotation of mainly goal pace here, do you see what I mean? So actually for me, these both work well. Now for you, I don't think you should pay 200 something pounds for either of these, they're just not worth it. This is me buying shoes because I'm a geek, right? I don't think either of these shoes are worth the money, to be perfectly honest with you. If you were gonna buy one of these, I would say buy the, the Super Blast because of the versatility of it. You can literally do everything in that. You can run a half marathon in it, you can go long in it, you can do some easy miles in it, and it can literally soak everything up. Um, it's got a questionable outsole, and as I said, the upper's not as good as the Prime X. Now the Prime X is a special shoe, right? It's one of my favorites, so don't, don't get me wrong, I'm not going down on the um, uh, uh, you know on the Prime X, I'm not giving it a hard time because I really like this shoe. But this is a little bit more race tuned, I would say. You you've got to be on your game when you're running in this, and that's fine for me, as I try and get better over this marathon training block. So my recommendation for you guys out of these two is definitely the Super Blast. It's just a little bit less intrusive because it doesn't have the plates or the energy rods in it. It's a little bit more user friendly. Let's call it user friendly. That's probably a better way of explaining it. So if you're going to spend big money for a shoe, then I would probably go Super Blast. I think this is a um, like a luxury, yeah. So yeah, what you, you can get a Garmin two four two five five that does everything. Oh, wrong price, but bad example maybe. But you, you know, I oh, know Fenix. You can go and get Fenix Seven, or you could go and get that like Apple Ultra Watch. See what I mean? That's probably a better way of explaining it because they're both. Watches that are really expensive, yeah. It's probably a better way 40. So hopefully, probably not, that gets the point across. 
Both not worth the money. This should be £165 all day long. Um, this is an expensive add-on that you probably don't need, but if you were looking at both of them, then I would spend your money here, people, on the ASIC Super Blast. <laughs>